everyone, and welcome to another fabulous episode of Your Glam Shop. I'm your host, Jennifer Sarankoy, and with me... As you know, fine boy, fresh boy, looking stylish every day. <laughs> My name is Hashim Style Buff. <clears throat> <laughs> is the esteem being so, affected? Are you okay? Very. Are you alright? Very. This time, we're just going to let him off because he took his time, dug into his suitcase to find that waistcoat to match the jacket. Have her. And Have she her. probably even borrowed so much of <laughs> Well, ah, no. <laughs> it's allowed. It's allowed. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, we have a bumper package for you guys. You really do not want to miss a bit, right? No, they shouldn't. Hmm? You shouldn't. So are we starting off? So we'll take you straight to the Glam Fix today. Find out how you can fix that skin of yours that, uh, you know, you, you, you might have been... Like, I, I, I noticed that something was coming up in my face. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> That's the real, this, is the real, this is the real enemy of progress. <laughs> EP! So, no, but we're, talk, we're taking you straight to learn how, uh, you know, laser, what's it called? Laser them. Laser them, mm -hmm. yes. And find out what you can do to keep your skin funky, fly, fresh. And fresh. We'll be back. My name is Dr. Bakari. I'm the head clinical service here at Laser Dem Clinic. We're an aesthetic clinic. We, we treat people with wrinkles, fine lines. We treat people with hyperhidrosis as excessive sweating. We treat people with acne, people with eczema, psoriasis, anything pertaining to skin. Okay, today we're doing a microdermabrasion. Jennifer has an oily skin, so microdermabrasion is good for oily skin. Microdermabrasion helps to control acne and also it's also good for any skin type. We wash her face, it's a simple step, and then we start off with the microdermabrasion. was totally amazing. I can totally feel the difference. Thank you once again, Laser Dam. Mm. Haters Club, what do you have to say? Uh, please, when do I get my own, you know, Our production team laser understands who, who appreciates luxury. There's no need wasting all these perks. No, you see, when you're cream, you're cream. Bah. So they're doing everything possible to get you to my level. So it's all right, I understand. I'll give you this one. I'll give you this ah. one. But we'll be going on a quick break and we'll be right back. Yeah. Glam Shop will be back after this message. Welcome back to the Glam Shop. Welcome back. If you're just tuning in, it's still Glam Shop. You're hanging out with Hash and Jen on the show. Yes, yeah, straight to something more fashionable. All right, this is Fashion Fix where we showed you, you know, Jennifer had the opportunity of actually hanging out with our guest for the day. Yes, the one and only fabulous mm -hmm. Koja Styling. Yeah. Watch this. We'll be back. <laughs> Welcome to Fashion Fix. On this week's Fashion Fix, we have the stylist extraordinaire, Ade Doin. Cool, Jack. 
Kojé yeah. Kelvin. Kojé Kelvin, that's the brand name, Kojé Kelvin. Mm -hmm. You're welcome to Fashion Thank Fix. Thank you very much. And Glam Shop. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so it's All right, nice. so this week's, we focus more on the guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's more a playful look. Mm, okay. For our first look, we went all blue with this lovely blue print shirt, the blue shorts, the... Ash shoes. Mm -hmm. And then the Papa's cap. Yeah, yeah. So what do you think of this look? Well, the look to me is very subtle. It's very, um, it's very beach-like. Mm -hmm. Something you can wear to hang, hang out with your friends and you want to relax at the beach or at the pool or just want to have like a day out with your friends, like a picnic. So it's really cool. And I particularly like this look because I feel like it's a look that can... An older gentleman can identify can, with yeah, as well. Like, yeah. mm -hmm. Something with your old friends, uh, like a guy dream together with friends. And Saturdays just, at Saturday. um, Polo Club. Right, yeah, of course, uh -huh. yeah, just chilling and I, stuff I, like I that. I feel like that. <laughs> and I, 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 I like the fact that the prints match with the shorts. It's really, really, really nice. It's um, very, very fashion. So forward. what's your take on Nigerian men wearing prints? Uh, for me, I think there's a limit to everything. There, there should be a limit in which you should be able to wear print as a guy. You shouldn't overdo it and you shouldn't overstep the boundary. That, that, that's, that's my take. Okay, Very fair enough. Thank you. Our second look is a more bright and daring look yeah. with a red print shirt, the green shorts. And the red loafers. And the red loafers. And again, a check it print papa's cap. Mm -hmm, yeah. So what do you think of this look? I really, I think this, this would be my favorite look for the two looks. It's yeah. this... It's, I, I like the whole combination, it's really nice. I like the fact that the color is actually very calm, but yet very, very... Um, this color is calm. It's, it's, it's kind of sings together for me. Okay, it's kind yeah, of it sings, well it blends everything. together, it sings, and it gives you this illusion of, oh, I'm, trying not, I'm not trying so hard to, to, to overdo it. And I feel stuff. like it speaks Miami or Miami. Some, some nice or holiday Alegushi. destination. <laughs> or Alegushi. Or Alegushi. Or Alegushi. Or Alegushi. Or Alegushi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or uh, Inagbe, anyone. Yeah. Just something something really nice. I, and I like the Papa's Heart, the Czech's Papa's Heart. It's yeah. really cool. They can, these are pieces you can use even even on, on, a, regular on a regular day stuff. So, so, so really yes, nice. it's a nice look for you. Perfect for me. All right, great. Well, thank you, Mr. Koja Kelvin. Thank you very much. Although you're not the one that styled this, this year. Well, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just here to give my own perspective as a stylist. And a very sub, sub, is it objective, objective, objective look, opinion. Objective opinion. Thank you. Yeah. Well, there you have it, guys. Two funky ways you can wear your print shirts and shorts as a metrosexual male in 2016. Whew. Uh, I mean, I mean. That looked really nice. I mean. Well done to the stylist. Yes, well done so to the stylist. I, I'm not a hater. Uh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, it looked really nice. I, I definitely <laughs> love the prints. I, I usually used to think it was only gay men that wore yeah. prints. But, you know, I guess the metrosexual men are... What about colors? Well, it's Nigeria. It's nice to see people embracing, you know, colors. And I like the shorts. Take it notes. was really nice with the hats. Uh -huh. Big ups <laughs> to the stylist. Yeah. Whoever you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, real quick. We'll go on a short break. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Glam Shop will be back after this message. Welcome back to the Glam Shop. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, where have you been? But you're just in luck because now you can catch reruns of the show on YouTube. Yeah. All you have to do is check on Wazobia TV and look for Glam Shop. Glam Shop. Glam Shop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll go straight to our fashion feature for the day. And uh, you get to meet someone who has been in the game for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, she, she, and she, learn a few tips if yeah. you're an upcoming designer. Something you should know and something you should actually have in your books. Yes. Stay yeah. tuned. Hi, my name is Trisha Osita Onimono. I'm the creative director behind Trish O Couture label. Trish O Couture is actually a female fashion brand. We're into ready to wear collections and best book pieces. It's a brand where you come into our flagship store, you pick up what you want because we're into ready to wear collections. When you come in, we have our jackets ready to wear, we have our dresses, we have our evening dresses all ready to wear. Once you come in, you get to what you want. It's a one-stop shop. We have, um, we have like um, laces for sale, we have purses, we have slippers. When a client buys something, they just pick up what they want from there. What makes our brand different from other brands is that we're into details, we're into stone works, we're into beading of clothes. So once you come in, you just find out that our fabrics are always different. We really like, you know, take our time, we look at what we want to give to our customers. And that what makes us different about our store is that we just don't use just one particular fabric. 
we make sure we mix because different people will different with what they want and what they like. In our store, we have Ankara fabrics, we do silks, we do laces, we do plain fabrics. So once you come in, it's not like a shop where you come in, not like a, a store where you come in, you just say, okay, I'm just going here to just get this. Once you come in, we, we actually cater for elderly women, younger ladies, long, younger women. You just pick up what you want. So once you come in, it's a one-stop shop where you get everything you need. The fashion industry is really, really going very high now. Everybody wants to be a designer. Everybody wants to wake up and start making clothes. They want to be into the, they want to go into the fashion world. Yeah, basically, one of the problems we have in Nigeria is like, we have problems of lights. We designers spend a lot in production. So if the production cost can come a little bit lower, where we have steady lights, I think everything is going to be reasonable. Like in my factory, every day I burn 50 liters of diesel and I buy it every day. Sometimes I burn like 100 liters of diesel if the workers are going to work overnight. You know, so it's cost of production. The cost of production is always very high. That's one of the problems we're going through. Okay, what I want to say to designers outside, upcoming designers outside, one thing about the fashion business is, I can say it's easy and I can say it's not easy. Because one thing we have to know is that going into the fashion world is not all about you designing the best whatever, whatever. We have to have that very good relationship with our clients, with our customers. We have to have the relationship with our workers. We have to, you know, always be there for this customer because without them, we're going nowhere. We need them to always come and patronize us. I mean, and it's always good for them to know what they're going into. Because um, number one, it's going into the fashion business. You have to be very patient about it because you need, you're going to meet a lot of mad people, workers working for you. Mostly they tell us because they're not very educated. They don't understand, you know, all they know is just money, 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 money. So going into the fashion business, one has to be very, very patient. You really have to know everything, the buying and selling, making of the clothes, you know, everything has to be done the right way. Wow, that was really, really, really nice. I'm big on ambience. It's, it, it gets me even, I mean, it is one and everything. I think her studio is in a very strategic location. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you get the, that kind of address, you know you should come with your money. You have to. Mm -hmm. You have to. Yeah. Moving on. Moving on. Yeah. We're back to a lovely hair today segment for the Natural Sisters. She's sad. Going, yes, I'm sad. I've, sad. I've, I've complained. I've petitioned. They, don't, they just don't want to help a sister out, but it's fine. You natural sisters. Be patient, the time is coming. <laughs> but yes, here's our how-to for our natural sisters and how to style your fabulous mane for a night out. Hi everyone, my name is Bimisola Akomu. I'm a stylist, and today I'm going to be showing you a bridal look with natural air. So to start with, I'm still sprinkling water on it. And then I have my detangler. I'm just gonna comb it out. And then I'm gonna smoothen the edges for this kind of brush. So we have something like this, then I'm going to cut the hair into lines, step by step, coming it out. So to give this hair volume, I'm going to be adding this. This is a kinky, a supreme kinky attachment. We place it on top of the hair and wrap in. The lines don't need to be very smooth because we still have another layer covering it.
just apply a little Jamaica castor oil. Uh, I mean, now I, I would have given you tips, but then it's you okay. saw the tips. So, Moving on. okay. Moving on. <laughs> Don't worry, someday. Next life. It's okay. Hair will come. Move on. All right, so we're moving on. We're moving on straight. It is hit and miss on the show. Keep it up. Welcome to this week's hit and miss. On this week's hit and miss, we'll be going through some lovely parties from Lagos to the United States of America. <laughs> Koja Kelvin is still with us. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Thank you for your patience. Thanks. All right. All right. To start us off, we'll be going through pictures from the 30th birthday soiree of... Is he a politician? What, no, what is he, um, he runs... Uh, Red Media. Uh, Red Media, which is, I think, a platform for... It's like a media platform and a PR platform, too. So. Okay. So, politician, media entrepreneur, Debola. Williams. <laughs> Williams. Yeah. All right. Cool. So, first off, we'll be starting off with the birthday boy himself in mm. this lovely white... Tuxedo. 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 I noticed it's a big deal because the guy is known for only wearing traditional. I yeah, think. he really came out by surprise to a lot of people. People thought he was going to go with the typical, um, his normal. Because he always wears Yeah. Red. So, but this is a piece from my attack line. It's really st stuck on me. Yeah. It's just really, really. Why? What's so special? I, I like the whole details. I, I like the fact he's, the thing is well fitted on him. It sits properly on him and it's, he, you know, he just went with regular white and black, but it looks perfectly on him. Okay. I really, really, really like this one. I'm not particularly feeling the bow tie. Yeah, the bow tie suits the event. No, this is not a red carpet event. It's not something that's too glam glam. It's just something that knows my birthday party. I'm, of course, I will still the shine, but... His birthday. Still. Yeah, so... <laughs> but I think he did amazing with this look. Okay, so it's a yes for me? A yes for me. All right. Next up, we have the lovely Lala Akindoju. Um, the most recent winner of the Trailblazer Award. Yeah, MVP 2016. Okay, in this red ensemble, what do you think of this look? <laughs> I think, uh, for me, I think this this is too dressy. Ah. This is too dressy. Something more complex. I, I, I understand the fact that she's... Like she just came from church. Mm -hmm. I knew of she's course. a church. She's a church. No offense taken, but I feel if you're coming for a birthday party, try and look the part. I feel she always dresses older than she is. Mm. Like she's young, she's it's, youthful. You can still be decent, but still mm. look your age. It's, I a, feel it's a personal preference for me. I think it w what works for her. I, yeah. I feel like what she's wearing, Auntie Mo could have been wearing as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. That's, but that's, that's, that's my take. We're here for your opinion. <laughs> okay. For me, I, the, the dress is amazing, no doubt. But for the event, it doesn't work. Except you have an excuse of probably coming from somewhere yeah, else. Just, oh, let me just come talk to my friend and everything. So is it a hit or is it a miss? The dress is lovely. But for the event, it's a, it's a miss. Okay, it's a miss. it's a miss. And for our international look this week, we'll go to our first daughters at their first steak dinner before Daddy Jairus finally leaves the White House. It's, it's true <laughs> now. It's been a long journey. It's really been a long journey. But yes, for their debut, they mm. came out like doves coming out in the sky. Yeah, in the sky. <laughs> uh, I... What do you think? I think for me, we've seen them trans transform from little kids to yeah, young, from beautiful their ladies. Yeah, shorts and tank tops. And to I think for one thing they have learned is style, yeah. which for their mother is something really, yeah. And they've people, been able... People compare their mother to Jackie O, like she's like the next... No, I think, I think she has a better, more sophisticated style. Than Jackie O? No, 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 people, no. For me, for, for me, that. that's no. I think she's been able to give us that. Okay, I'm, I'm the first lady, but I, I, and I still have my style with me, and you know, she's been able to present herself. Mm. Sophisticated. She, she has been very diverse in mm. her style trends. Like she hasn't done like Anything. proper preppy. Yeah, she, 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 she switches it up a lot. So, but what did you think of this look? For this for look, the for the girls, um, Shasha, that's the younger one. Yeah, I like the the black. But then I like the fact that it was not just a plain black. It was the embroidery. Yeah, the embroidery. The embroidery. Everything was everything which was priceless for me. So something that this is a statement piece. It's something you could wear for yeah. any event and yeah. still. And it was very whimsical and romantic. Mm. Both dresses were by Nahin Khan. Oh, and nice. I know it was it, lovely. Really nice. 
Very lovely. And dresses. for the other daughter, and Malia. Malia. I think the, the color suits her skin. I know. Mm. And I like the fact that the floral prints were color like brighter colors Than against the, the neutral of, undertone of the dress. Yeah, and I like this, I think it's just beaded or something. It's just no, it's just like floral and flowers. It's just really nice and uh, there's this little detail on just I just it's just it was, it was gorgeous. It was really nice. Yeah, I like and they dressed appropriately for their well, ages. The makeup was subtle. They the hair was beautiful. good. Everything was good and they just came out to have so fun. So is it a hit or a miss? Definitely, Definitely. a hit. <laughs> of course, Definitely a hit, hit every time for them. We've enjoyed having you. Although you were not as you know, critical as we usually like Don't to Don't worry, have call me next we're time. Being diplomatic. <laughs> call me next oh, time. This, these carpets were not, they were, were not, 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 not by Bele no, They were not at all. <laughs> <laughs> call me for probably one of these red carpets and all I will right. give you my we, honest opinion. We definitely enjoyed having you, Thank Mr. You Kode Kelvin. Much. Thank you very much. Well, there you have it. We've had a lot of hits and a few misses. Mm -hmm. Not a lot this week. Are we? <laughs> We're just being very, very nice. We've enjoyed having the lovely Koja Kelvin with us this week. Thank you. And that's it for Hit or Miss. My favorite part of that Hit or Miss were the Obama girls. Like, come on, talk about little girls blossoming into lovely ladies. Yes, I'm looking forward to when they become lovely wives. <sighs> Goldie girl alert, Goldie girl alert. <clears throat> Mary Wright, Mary Wright. Yeah. Yeah. If you can work, you shouldn't be aiming for such things. Eh? The, the dream is even too far. That's not yeah. even. I'll let you have this one. But yes, my major problem is yeah. that a little birdie told me mm -hmm. someone was invited to this lovely 30th party. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. And someone was angry that someone didn't get an invite or wasn't, you know. I mean, you can't sit with those people that were invited. So don't, don't, don't hate. Yeah. Playground game. <laughs> it's your week. It is Shy, my week. Baby, it is my week. I mean, a lot of people came out looking good. It was a yeah, birthday. Yeah, people dressed properly. I yeah, think. and then even even uh, with the weather, weather changed at some point, but it didn't affect the look. That's where that's where I mean, you know, when people put an effort to style, you do everything to protect that appearance. Really, with the makeup, with the hair, I looked around after a while, flawless, like most of the ladies and the gentlemen too. You know. I like that all this attention to detail is helping the makeup and stylist industry. We, we, we are glad for that. <laughs> we are glad for that. But yes, it's been fun, right? Huh? Yes, it has. And um, hopefully some more events where some people will be invited and others wouldn't. But, uh, you know, how we do it on the show. My lovely people clearly know who's the cool kid between both of us. <sighs> so I, I don't need to... I mean... Chai! It's obvious, right? It's your week. It's, it's obvious. Your week. It's obvious. It's obvious. <laughs> it's obvious. But don't forget, you can join the conversation on social media at Wazobia TVNG, hashtag Glam Show, Facebook and Instagram. Yes. And uh, unfortunately, this is the part where we say, So long, farewell. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>